highlighted miscellaneous question under our solving quadratic equations series on the board we have 16 power y minus 5 times 4 power y then we have plus 4 equals to 0 now how do we approach this question on the board the first thing you do is to observe the powers we have your index here 16 power y and we also have 4 power y we are going to ask ourselves this question how can we be able to break down 16 power y so that it will now resemble 4 power y the answer to that question is check this index which is 4 power y the lowest possible index here is 4 that is the base here is 4 compared to the base here 16 so we ask ourselves what can we do to this um, base 4 so that it can become 16 that is to say if we come to this place here and then we write 4 times 4 under the multiple of 4 we see that 4 times 4 will give us what 16 now what this means is that 4 squared that is 4 is multiplying itself 2 times that's the 2 you see here will give us what 16 in other words we can write 16 in another way and what is the way we write it as 4 power 2 so over here we write 4 and then there is a power 2 that is coming up here but already there is a power y that is existing here so we write that power y first then we introduce a bracket and then we can put our power 2 i believe if you go back to our first lesson on this you understand what i just did here so our four squared is still the same thing as four squared there but the difference is that we are bringing this y first this power y and then setting out the two in a bracket then we write minus then we have five times then four power y and then we have plus four all equals to zero so at this point what do we do we are going to take a substitution for 4 power y, 4 power y. So what that means is that we say let, we can pick any letter. So let's say let x equals to what? 4 power y. Now we are taking this substitution so that we can be able to replace 4 power y and then get the value of x. And from the value of x, we can get the value of y. So if x equals to 4 power y, what does that mean? It means that in this first term where we are having 4 power y, we are, write, we are writing x and it will become x power word 2. So over here we have x power word 2 which is x squared and then we have minus 5. Now 5 times 4 power y will become 5 times x. So we have 5x then plus 4 all equals to 0. So there you have it we have arrived at a quadratic equation now the method of solving this quadratic equation we shall be using is your factor method now once again we are looking for two numbers such that if we multiply them it will give us plus 4x squared and if you add them it is going to give us what minus 5x so the two factors are minus 4x and minus x so we write this first term x squared and then we replace the middle term which is minus 5x by the factors minus 4x and minus x and here we have plus 4 all equals to 0 now at this point we are going to factorize this first two term now in factorizing x is common so we bring out our x we introduce the bracket divide x squared by x you will have x then we have minus then divide 4x by x you'll be left with what 4 then if you remember what we did in our previous lessons we give a gap and um, introduce the same contents of the bracket here so we write x minus 4 then the next step is to divide and uh, multiply these two signs plus minus will give us minus and if we divide 4 by 4 we have 1 then don't forget to put your equals to what 0 so at this point what do we do next we group the factors now we take the hcf which is x minus 1 and we group them into one bracket and we group the common factors which is what x minus 4 and everything 
equals to zero now the next step is that either x minus one equals to zero or x minus four equals to zero so what do we do we write it as x minus one equals to what zero or x minus four equals to zero now please let's come up here permit me to wipe this off and then we do this and we send this one up here so now at this point we take our x minus one the minus one comes to this place to become x equals to one or then your minus four comes to the other side it becomes x equals to four so this is the solution in terms of x now don't forget that x represents a value and what is the value of x x represents four power y so if we are bringing back the four power y here here becomes four power y equals to how can we write one in terms of base four how can we write one in terms of base four so in terms of base four this one that is here we can write it as four power y equals to four power zero so which means that anything to raised to power zero will give us one so at this point the equal base we cancel out each other and if we equate the powers we'll have the value for y therefore as zero so that is the first value of y now for the next value which is x equals to four don't forget x represents the value four power y equals to what four the power of this four is an invincible one so write it out so if we equate this base that to cancel it out we and compare the powers we see that y equals to what one so if y equals to four uh, if y equals to zero then y here must equals to what one so this is now the final solution to this problem so the value of y is zero or one if you take this zero or one and plug it plug it here you see that the final result here is what zero for instance if you take this zero and put it where y is over here you see that here will become 16 power what zero which is one then this is what four power zero which is one so five times one is uh, five times one is what five then one minus five is minus four minus four plus four will give us zero so therefore the answer is correct i hope you enjoyed this lesson and i really want to thank you for um watching this video please if you have not subscribed do so and then also hit the notification bell and you will get notified when i release my next video i will see you in my next lesson